Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. I think this is episode six and it is currently Sunday the 14th of August which means I am one week out from my first show which also means that we officially start peak week today. Now I say officially because it is obviously peak weeks however we did actually start peaking a week ago so last Sunday we started peaking for my show. So I'm going to update you on kind of what we've done from then up until now and then I'm planning on taking you through this entire week and talking to you about the changes that we're making like almost daily at the moment and just keeping you updated on the process to be honest. I've got a lot on this week um, but I'm really really excited. I am feeling good, I'm feeling you know pretty happy with how I'm looking, pretty confident which is quite quite a, um, a rare feeling <laughs> I would say but it's a great feeling to have so I'm just really excited and looking forward to getting back on stage to be honest. I am a little bit gutted because there are only three people in my category um, which is a little bit a bit of a bummer. Um, I think the smallest category I did back in 2019 it had like six um, competitors in it so to have only three including myself it's a little bit of a shame but it is what it is. Um, at least this means I will definitely qualify <laughs> and I will definitely be at finals which is eight weeks after that. But aside from that I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really enjoying the way that we're peaking for this show in comparison to how we have in the past. So basically, to run you through what we've been doing, actually to run you through what a peak week is and what peaking is, essentially you want to bring your best look to the stage, right? So training and dieting are both stresses on your body. So in peak week, you essentially try and reduce that stress. So that could be by either reducing training volume, reducing cardio, or also increasing food. So that reduces that stress, it reduces that fatigue, helps with recovery, but also increasing food is going to increase your, basically your glycogen stores, so your carbohydrate stores, um, and that's going to help to fill you out a lot more. And when you fill out, your muscles I mean, <laughs> when you fill out, you look better, and you actually look a lot leaner as well, you look crispier, especially as you drop off that fatigue. Since Sunday, um, just gone. So a week ago, we've been making almost like daily changes. So my workout splits, I have rest days on a Sunday, Monday and Thursday. Yeah, so I'll pop that here so you can see what we do. Basically the first change that we made, we removed cardio on Sunday and Monday. So well, we removed cardio on rest days. I was doing 45 minutes on a rest day, first thing in the morning, we took that out. That was the first change that we made a week ago. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm going to try and remember what we did. We added in 25 grams of carbs, so 20 grams of oats pre-workout, 20 grams of oats post-workout. That was on Tuesday. On Wednesday, um, we kept it the same. Thursday, which was a rest day, um, we added in, I believe, like 55 grams of carbs. I doubled my oat bowl at the end of the day, so 100 grams of oats, which is just phenomenal um, and also added in an extra bagel thin in the meal before that and then Thursday and Friday no Friday and Saturday this is why I'm going to put it down here Friday and Saturday we added in another 25 grams of carbs in the form of a bagel in my last meal and then Saturday we added in another bagel so two bagels so almost daily changes at the moment and I have just been looking basically tighter fuller leaner um, my legs are actually looking very lean at the moment. <laughs> there's a lot of detail in them, which we kind of don't really want for figure. So there's a chance that we might actually, or that I might actually do a leg session quite close to the show day so that they are a little bit inflamed so they don't actually show as much detail, but that's something that we're going to play around with. Um, but that's really interesting because it's almost like <laughs> that's all I want. I would love nothing more than to have like deep lines in my quads. But it's not what the category asks for. It's not what the criteria is for figure. So we do have to kind of watch out for that. <laughs> but I don't mind. I quite like it. So yeah, that's what's been happening over this week with reducing that, um, well, taking out the cardio, Training stayed exactly the same for the moment and also increasing food. So I'll pop a little comparison. I don't know if you'll be able to tell the difference, but I'll put a comparison from my photos a week ago to now and you can see if you can spot a difference where I look a bit tighter and a bit fuller. Um, and then this week, we're just going to look to continue to do that. So no food changes have been made today. We just need to, it's a, it's a rest day for me. So I just need to kind of chill out and just relax as much as possible. I still do have to get 
7,000 steps, so, you know, I'm not... I'm gonna have to do that later on, but we're in the middle of, like, a heat wave at the moment in the UK, which... I say in the UK, like, pretty much probably everyone who's watching this is in the UK, so you know this, but I absolutely love weather like this, like, it's just... Yeah, I just fucking love it. Um, so I'll probably wait until later on this evening anyway to get those steps in. That's just a little update for the moment, and I'm gonna try and update you every single day on what is happening take you along with me so this is probably going to be a pretty long video but hopefully you enjoy it um if you do stick around to the end thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your support i'll catch you in a bit <laughs> It's another rest day for me today. So I did my check-in shots with AJ this morning, sent them across to him. And I wasn't too happy with the way I was looking this morning. I think I looked a little bit kind of bloated and watery in my midsection. My legs felt quite tired and I found it quite hard to kind of engage. My weight was the same as it was yesterday. So 137.8. I will um, pop a picture of my scale weight and what it's done since we were peaking last Sunday. So I pretty much held around like one three, well in the one three sixes for the entire week up until yesterday. Actually, I think it was Saturday. It went up to one three seven point two. Yesterday was one three seven point eight. Today was one three seven point eight. That's pretty normal. It's to be expected, which is pretty cool actually, because when I stepped on stage in two thousand nineteen, my stage weight was around one three one, one three two. So to be like potentially five pounds up from that is pretty awesome. Not bad for a natural. We're gonna see how we get on today. No changes are gonna be made. I'm just going to try and chill out as much as possible once I've done all my work. So a Monday is a busy client check-in day for me. So I tend to go like radio silent on um, on socials because I'm, I'm just get stuck into it and I forget to like update stories and stuff. So I'm just basically going to carry on with these. I'll probably have a little break in an hour or so to head to um, Aldi to do the food shop. And then I will yeah, continue on with the check-in. So you probably won't hear from me again today. Um, once I've done my check-ins, I'm just going to try and chill out and switch off and see how that um, benefits my look tomorrow. See if that helps alleviate some of the stress that is obviously showing up in my physique. So we'll see what happens, but I will update you in the morning. So a couple of benefits to being on a meal plan is that you get in and out of the supermarket like that and also your bill tends to be a little bit cheaper.
Hey guys, so it's currently Tuesday the 16th of August, so just a little update for me because it is quarter past, or well, it's 20 past 8 in the evening. It's been a crazy, crazy busy day, and a hectic day, and I'm just pretty much finishing now, and I've forgotten to... I've picked up the camera because you obviously will have seen my training session and also the massage, um, but I've forgotten to actually speak to the camera and update you guys. So, um, did my check-in with AJ this morning, not overly happy with how I'm looking, I've got a bit of like a film over me at the moment, got a bit of water retention, looking a little bit bloated. Um, so we haven't made any changes today, we've kept things the same as the last change that we made on a training day, so I've just got 20 grams of oats pre and also post and then an extra two bagel thins in the evening so we're just keeping things the same we're going to check in tomorrow morning and see how i'm looking i'm thinking it could potentially be in relation to like my missing cycle so i did have a period last month uh, which is actually really good at this point in prep because i did lose it in 2019 so it just goes to show that this year my stress management has just been so much better and this prep has just run so much smoother than it did in 2019 for me to have you know, retained, retained, yeah, I think retained my cycle, um, but potentially we're getting to a point now where I'm going to lose it, um, or it's just late, but regardless, I've been experiencing some symptoms that are telling me um, that, you know, my cycle would be here or should be here, um, I think I was due on on Saturday, so no sign of it just yet, but I'm suspecting that that's the reason that I'm experiencing some of these symptoms and that it's showing up in my check-in shots, so hopefully that'll pass. But as always, we're gonna do like daily check-ins, see how I'm looking and just go from there. So no changes today. Um, did my first deload session. So this week I'm running a deload. So basically all of my training sessions are just gonna be baseline volume, which means I'm just doing one working set on every exercise, um, which is quite refreshing in a way because you get in and out of the gym really, really quickly. So that was a nice easy session. Then I went and had a massage after that just to try and help get rid of any like inflammation and fatigue and just relax a little bit. Tomorrow, me and my sister are doing a trial makeup run. Um, so I'll take you along for that. And then I will, of course, update you on the, um, the changes or not that we make tomorrow. Hello, so it is, I was about to say Thursday, it's not, it's Wednesday. Um, it's Wednesday the uh, 17th, which means I'm four, five days out. Depends how you count it, I suppose. I am just on the way to my mum's house to grab my sister. We're gonna go shopping first for some makeup bits and bobs, and then she's gonna do a trial run on me for the show day makeup because she's doing it in the morning. So um, anyway, so this morning I did my check-in with AJ and we have made a change today, but we've actually pulled back a little bit. So the past, mm, I'd say three mornings, my look has been a little bit worse. I've been a bit more kind of watery in my midsection, not as much detail kind of coming through and I haven't been as happy with the way that I've been looking. And then this morning in particular, I just didn't feel great either like my throat was hurting which in like true peak week fashion <laughs> could potentially be getting sick feels a bit better now but my throat was hurting and also my stomach was hurting quite a bit so i mentioned to aj that i just wasn't happy with the way that i was looking i was feeling quite negative about it my weight has gone up a little bit which to be honest is to be expected with us you know eating more food and filling out a bit more but it's not so much that it's more the way that my photos were looking and how i'm feeling and I really, like, this is my first show in three years, you know. I really want everything to go as smoothly as possible. And obviously that's never going to happen. <laughs> There's always going to be something um, that is out of your control and that just doesn't go to plan. So I have to accept that, but at the same time I want it to go as well as possible. And it is a bit frustrating and stressful that I'm just not looking as good as I did like last week, for example. So we didn't make any changes over the last three days. We kept like the the increase in food that we made but today we've actually decreased everything and gone back to like my baseline training diet haven't like added in cardio or anything like that we won't be doing that but we've basically lowered food again um just to see if that makes much of a difference in terms of like my midsection if it tightens me up a little bit which i already feel a bit better for it and then we'll see how the look looks tomorrow and we'll go from there basically so that's what we've done for now so pulled back on the oats, got rid of the bagels, which is sad times, but I would rather look good on stage. So that's a little update for me. I did um, some work this morning and then did my push session, which was again a deload session. So I was literally in and out with, within like 40 minutes, which is actually quite <laughs> quite nice in a way, but I was able to get a pretty good pump. My midsection already looked a little bit tighter in that session. So 
yeah fingers crossed it's going to do um what we hope it will and i'll wake up tomorrow feeling a bit better so off to my mum's now off to cheshire oaks to boots to Superdrug, all that stuff to get some makeup because i'm not like i don't have a lot of stuff uh, i still have all the stuff that we used last time that's like three years old it's a bit grimy isn't it i don't know it's not like exactly like as much as you look your best when you're on stage you don't like <laughs> I was gonna say you don't smell your best but you can't use you can only use like spray deodorant you know your tan is gross like you probably don't actually you're probably not actually your best you just look it um <laughs> so yeah we could do with some more makeup I also have a photo shoot two days after my show day and we need makeup for that as well because obviously that's not like show day makeup it's not as harsh like show day makeup is a bit more kind of theatrical because of the lights and the tan um but the photo shoot one i just want more of like a natural look so we probably need to get some bits for that so i'll take you along with me and then i will maybe show you the uh, the finished look with the makeup and see see how it turns out excuse me excuse me <laughs> interview kind of <laughs> angle yeah. I wanna see how that works. we want to use it all sparingly because it's fucking expensive <laughs> Which is nothing compared to what the tan is going to be like. Makes my teeth look really white. I love it. <laughs> this could be your um, thingy cover. <laughs> we look the exact same. Cute. Cute. <laughs> We're thinking this one. It happened by a busy main road on a bright summer's afternoon. Uh, this week has been just so we get the schedule that I hear and I'm going to you right away into the chat. Well, let's get the whole and may have been in the super high during those times. Yeah, um, so Okay, so it's Thursday the um, 18th now. I am absolutely arsehole today. I'm so tired. Um, luckily, it's a rest day. I'm just um, at Tesco's right now. And then I should, well, I still have to get my steps, but then I should be able to just chill out. And I feel like it's much needed at this point. Like the past few days have just been so hectic. I just feel exhausted and I feel like I just need to lie down and 
have a little nap but today's not been too bad i did my check-in with aj this morning so the look was a little bit better this morning which is good so what we're going to do today we're going to go back up to the usual not the usual but the peak week rest day diet meal plan um, but we're going to switch the meals around so rather than having the 100 grams of oats that i was having for my meal five which is my last meal pre-bed i'm going to switch that with meal three so that my meal just before bed is literally just protein and veg because I seem to look better in the morning when we do that. So that's the only change that we've made today, but we have gone back up to like slightly higher food. Um, slightly, it's not that high. Um, so we'll just see how I look tomorrow and kind of go from there. But at Tesco's now, I'm gonna go in and get this, go home. I think I'll get my steps in before that bowl of oats so that way I can just sit down and enjoy it and then just chill out for the rest of the night and probably just start editing or continue editing this. Cause I want this to come out on show day. So lots to do, but I can do it from the comfort of my sofa. Friday now it's Friday the 19th so two days out I'm just sitting down post workout um, I've got can I call it a mug cake I'll probably get cast out from like the bodybuilding world by Lucy for this <laughs> this is literally just protein powder and water with a bit of peanut butter on top now the right way to make this you're gonna have to go and ask Lucy or watch her channel because she makes a mega mug cake but I'm not going to start putting like bicarb of soda in my food two days out because it'll probably fuck with my stomach. <laughs> so I'm just going to settle for this at the moment. So um, post-workout, I just did my first pump session. So I'm going to do a push pump session today or I did do a push pump session. This morning's look, I wasn't, <laughs> I didn't even want to comment on it. I was just like not happy with how I looked. I think it's like, it's almost like beer goggles in the morning. When I look at my shots later on in the day, I'm actually, you know, quite happy with them. But first thing in the morning, I think it's because I feel tired and I feel a bit flat that I then look at my photos and I'm like, <laughs> but when I look at them later, they actually look, you know, better. Anyway, I um, sent them across to AJ and we've decided to do a high day today. Um, the highest day so far with, within this peak. So basically in my video where I did my refeed or my high day, so the 3000 calorie one, that's the food that we're running today because we need to start filling me out a little bit and I do look a little bit tighter than I have been the past like few days. So um, that's what we, run we are running today. Just gone and done that session. Did to do it fucking hell. I just did some post-workout shots now and I'm looking, yeah, much, much better. My stomach actually looks tighter later on in the day once I've got a bit of food in me, so that's great. <laughs> I look full, I got a good pump in the session. Um, so we're pretty happy with that so i've got a good amount of food today and then we'll check in tomorrow and um go from there basically so i haven't got much on the rest of the day now i had a wax this morning because i need to be dolphin smooth <laughs> to get my tan tomorrow the week is a lot less stressful now towards the end of it than it was at the start so i'm going to chow down on this and then i've got three three bagels to have afterwards as well so <laughs> don't worry lucy i'll try it with a bicarb of soda after this comp and I bet it'll be phenomenal. <laughs> it's been a while since I've had bagels and jam. That's quite nice. Mm. It was meant to be a banana, but it was a bit last minute. I don't have bananas. <laughs> But maybe that's a good thing because this jam is good. Ooh, fuck me, it's hot. That's not going to be nice with the tan later on, though, is it? Fuck no. Um, hi guys, it's Saturday. We are one day out. Fucking exciting. Um, so this morning I've pretty much just been like preparing for tomorrow, shaving my entire body i think they say to do that like more than 24 hours before but i don't really get any like irritation or anything from shaving so i'd rather do it closer to getting my tan um and that's what i did last time and i had no issues so shave my body i'm silky smooth <laughs> um 
I've just been in and got my second pump session done which was like a pull based one so back and biceps I'm gonna go home and check in once again with AJ and shower once again when the buses come down here what the fuck <laughs> I'm gonna shower once again because I did put some moisturizer on and obviously you can't have anything like that on your body when you get in a tan so I also didn't want to be like stinky and sweaty in the gym because you can't put deodorant on when you get in the tan either so gonna go home and get a shower and then post-workout food um food wise today we've literally just taken carbs out of one of the meals so we took rice out of one of the meals just to kind of limit it a bit and we've also increased like dark chocolate um so that's the changes that we've made for today and once i've got my tan in um you're gonna get a hell of a shock because it looks really funny <laughs> i look like a fucking umpa lumpa um so that's like an hour and a half away so i need to drive there get the tan at the gym drive back won't be stopping for coffee absolutely not not while i look like that um and then i'm just gonna prepare my meals for tomorrow for show day and make sure i've got everything that i need so and then try and chill out and also upload this video for tomorrow morning so that's pretty much it for me but next time you see me i'll probably i'll i'll probably be mahogany brown like varnish all right guys so it's a it's not even a couple of hours later i think it's like an hour later so i just popped home did my check-in um shots had a shower got rid of any like moisturizer deodorant face cream that i had on threw on the most grotty baggy shitty clothing that i had um and now i'm gonna head to i think it's in berry just putting it into the map at the moment i think it's like an hour and a half away i'm gonna drive there about an hour and a half um get the tan on so you have to wear like quite baggy shitty clothing because obviously the tan first of all you don't want anything really really tight that's going to like leave a print and potentially screw with the tan but also um obviously you don't want to wear nice clothes because it will ruin the clothes so i've just put on like a really baggy black top i've got on some like they're like cream joggers which obviously isn't an ideal color but i really i don't care about them got some black ones in my bag but they were leaving like a bit of a bit of fluff on the inside so i wasn't too keen on using them um so i've just got on sorry i'm just putting the address in my phone so i've just got on some shitty clothes i've got some socks and i've cut like the top of them off so that there's no like tight band around my ankle um and then i've got nmds to drive in because they're really soft shoes so they shouldn't leave a print but i've also got my sliders but i don't think you're allowed to drive in sliders and i also don't feel confident enough to drive in sliders so i think i'll, I'll update you when i get there and after that you will see umpa lumpa grace be excited, be prepared. <laughs> right guys, you are not ready for this shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen myself as well. Okay, yeah yeah <laughs> no words i just feel Egh. it's so sticky so yeah first coat of tan is done um obviously i couldn't film anything in there because there's just loads of people stood around naked in tents <laughs> so um nice and quick it only takes about 15 minutes to get it done and then just stand there for about five minutes for it to dry ish roughly and then pop the clothes back on and that's it so tomorrow i'll get the second coat where um they'll just go over any bits that have like marked or anything like that and that'll be just before um registration tomorrow morning so quarter past quarter past quarter to ten i've got um the second coat of tan and then athlete check-ins at 10 and i'm probably going to be jumping on stage at about one o'clock so that is the plan for tomorrow and i'll be doing my makeup before that so it's an early start tomorrow about half past five um I'm excited for it i'm looking forward to it i i don't shower now so once the tan's on you do not shower so this is what i said earlier on is that like you definitely don't like smell or physically feel your best because you just you just want to put some fucking deodorant on to be honest so um no more showering now tomorrow morning i can wipe my face with a wet wipe but you can't get any water on you or anything like that. Ideally, I just shouldn't change my clothes whatsoever. I might put some looser trousers on just because I'm a bit apprehensive about my um, waistband being too tight. Um, and yeah, that's it. So I'll wipe my face with a wet wipe tomorrow morning 
put the makeup on, do my hair, and then it's showtime. So, um, a positive to take from this is that I don't have to do the washing up now. I can't do the washing up, so, oh well, oh well. <laughs> so I'm gonna drive home now. I'm going to prep my meals for tomorrow. I've got another two meals today. And then I'm just gonna chill out for the rest of the evening and obviously finish editing this and schedule it for tomorrow morning. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. Um, I probably will film a little bit more tonight, but just in case I don't, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Um, keep an eye out for all the show day um, posts and stories that I'm sure I'll be posting. <laughs> and keep an eye out for my bikini colour as well which I'm so excited I had I tried my old one on briefly this morning and first of all it was really tight <laughs> it was really tight on me which is a good sign or not maybe either I'm more muscly and I'm bigger or I'm not le as lean as I was <laughs> so mm. um, but yeah so tried that on this morning beautiful but then I looked at my new one and I was like oh Oh, it's so nice. So I'm really excited for that. But um, that's pretty much it. I'm going to try not to get any tan on my car. I'm going to drive home and then chill for the rest of the night. So, yeah. Wish me luck for tomorrow. Um, once again, thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one. <laughs>